Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. I am going to do a September Who's Your Soulmate reading for Gemini. Um, if this reading resonates with you, or if you enjoy the reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to do that. What I'm going to do is who is your soulmate? Who is coming or who is around you? Who is your soulmate, Gemini? Let's see. Who, Gemini? Who is your soulmate? Who's around you or who's coming? Just for September, who's my soulmate reading? Here we go, Gemini. Who is your soulmate? Oh, the moon. Two of Pentacles. Oh, and the Empress. <laughs> Gemini. You know, you, you're you confused about this person. That's who you're, so, whomever's around you that confuses you. Um, someone is around you that gives you a lot of confusion, gives you pause a lot of times. Sometimes they have you, as you see this this, this um dog is howling at the moon. Sometimes you look at them possibly as being, and, and I, I'm going to tell you exactly what I see. So sometimes you look at them as being pure evil sometimes, but they're not. And you know they're not. But that's what you see sometimes because... This person, whomever this person is, um, they they stand up to you, I think, and and this is the problem. You you are you are confused by them because one minute I think you love them, and the next minute I think you hate them. That's what I see here because here's the two of pentacles here. Two of pentacles means you're always going back in and out, in and out with this person with emotions. This is someone that drives you crazy, and sometimes you think they're bat ish crazy too. But there's something about them because here's this empress at the end part of this is a three card spread only, but um, I'm going to clarify as well. But the empress is at the end of this reading. The empress is a very uh, feminine woman, uh, a very feminine energy, someone that loves, someone that knows how to help you grow. Some of the emperor, um, it, it's almost like you're doing things for the empress that you don't um, even realize. I, I think I said emperor, but the empress. You're doing things for the empress that you don't even. She makes you do things. And sometimes you don't even realize. How did that happen? How did that happen? Because the empress is smooth. And when I say smooth, she means you no harm. She helps you grow. She helps you build. She knows how to talk to you. See all the roses. She's very feminine. She takes care of herself. She might not be the most gorgeous girl, but there's something about her. She's got a je ne sais quoi. And that's what it is. That's what drives you crazy because you can't quite figure it out. That's who your soulmate is. Whomever I'm reading for, if you're a woman, this is you are someone's soulmate because you give them a sense of that your bat is crazy sometimes and you drive them crazy and they're howling at the moon. They're trying to figure out what the heck. But overall, what you bring them is so much goodness. So much goodness. If you're an empress to them, you're an empress to this person. You help them. You, you help them grow. You're nurturing. You can be kind. But you got the spirit of both. You can be kind. You can be kind, but you also can be an itch sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Whomever's around you, whomever I'm reading for, your person is someone that makes make that you think is sometimes... That is crazy, but they are your person. They are your soulmate. So let's see. If this, um, let, let's see. Let's clarify this reading to see what the spirit guys have to tell you, Gemini. Let's clarify the reading to see what the spirit guys have to tell you. Why is the moon card here? Show me, spirit guys. Why is the moon card for the soulmate? For my Gemini soulmate. Why is the moon card here? Oh, I have the nine of pentacles. Oh, so, so this person is very independent too. That's what the problem. I don't say it's a problem, but that's what you're not used to. They're not clingy. They're very independent. They really don't need you, and they give you that that um, energy that they don't need you. And that's exactly who you need, Gemini. Someone that doesn't need you. Someone that is not clingy. 
And that's what this Nine of Pentacles is saying over this moon. That's why they drive you crazy. That's why one minute you 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 know you don't understand. You might do something for them. They're like, thank you, but they don't. But they're not someone that is going to be all over you. They're not clingy. They're not clingy. And they keep themselves sometimes at a distance. I think. So let's see why the Two of Pentacles is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. But they can be demanding as well. So let's see why the Two of Pentacles. Oh. I have the Four of Swords. And this is what this person does. I think you both do this. You take rest from each other. It's like, it's this person. <laughs> this person makes you say, with the Two of Pentacles, as you juggling this emotion, that I'm even, not even going to deal with this person. I'm not even going to deal with this person. This person puts pause on whatever you think you got going on. They don't, you cannot, this person puts pause. They, um, you, you guys both take, take breaks from each other. But whomever this person is, they're your soulmate. Let's see why the Empress is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Oh, Four of Cups. And this person, like I said, can be guarded. This person can be guarded, Four of Cups. You um, you can be guarded with them and they can be guarded with you. But more than anything, Gemini, they are guarded with you. That is why this person drives you. You think they're bat-ish crazy sometimes. And sometimes there's a love-hate relationship going on here. This person can be guarded. You can't just walk into this person. You can't put all your charm on them and all of that and say all those things. They're not about that. They don't want it. It's all good to them, but it's like, wah, wah, wah. They hear it, but they don't. You have to come to them in a different way because they are the empress. The empress, like I said, that's who you want because the empress energy, there's something about their energy that drives you to them. You don't understand why you're there because you take time. You're saying, I'm not going to deal with them. There's breaks in this, um, but they're the four of cups too. They're guarded. You have all these things about them. You start with the moon, the crazy card. They're absolutely bat-ish crazy, but they're bat-ish crazy, but they are your soulmate because they're not clingy. You can't charm them. You guys can grow together with the empress. That is who your soulmate is. Let me see what the angel oracle has to say let me see what the angel oracle has to say what do the angel oracles have to say oh honesty and communication well you love to communicate and you, um jim and i and this person loves to communicate back with you and i think that if you're honest with them and let them know how you feel and if you keep the communication lines open this is your soulmate Someone that drives you back is crazy. Someone that you don't that you adore and love though. Someone that makes you do things you don't even understand how they're they're making you do them because um, they know how to nurture you. They help you grow though. They're not clingy. You can't put your charm on them, but they are your soulmate because of those things. Someone that there's a love hate relationship with sometimes. Someone that you think is bad ish crazy, but they aren't. But overall, with the Empress here. They're there for you. They're good for you. That is who your soulmate. They have a Genesee Qua as well. That is who your soulmate is. That's what I have. Who your soulmate is, Gemini. 